What's going on guys? Today we are going to review a, I think a 1970s El Camino or maybe late 70s, I don't know, or, or middle 70s. But if you want to if you want me to review the Jaguar E Type 2, I got both of these off of um, I believe eBay, I believe. But today we're going to review the El Camino. The Let's get started. The El Camino is your typical hot rod, mu hot rod muscle truck. It's pretty much good condition. It has a V8 engine, a V8, I believe. It's got pretty nice detail in the cabin, in the in the cab. It's pretty nicely detailed. Let's get my pencil and stuff. You can see we have um, Goodyear tires. It's pretty amazing that this car is made by American Muscle, and it's made by Uttle too. I got this thing for about eighteen, twenty-seven bucks. I looked on Uttle's web. I looked. I looked on somewhere, and the thing's about a hundred dollars. Somewhere else, I think on Amazon. I don't know if they have it or not. But here is the white stripes. You can barely see it, but the. White stripes are cracking, which I mean I'm gonna have to repaint them. The bumper came off of this thing, which I had to order a new grill. It has, it has, um, it's an SS54. Oh, that was blurry. It has an SS454 engine in it. Turn blinkers are really detailed right here. It's very detailed. Now here's a little scuff. Okay, yeah, that's a little scuff right there. It's going to need a little bit more paint, like a little chrome, but yeah, it's not bad. We're going on for two minutes. We might go on for about ten minutes, I believe. I might get this video out by today. I don't know, but yeah. If we turn the old Camino around, we have Michigan license plates and the tailgate does open. It's plastic, so I'm afraid to break it hard enough. I'm afraid to break it. The bed doesn't need a little bit of dusting out. So you can see on my finger. I don't know if you can see it or not, guys. It's pretty dusty. Fine if you can see that. No minor cut, guys. I got cut a few days ago. But the old Caminos have really, really nice detail, and the way you shut is a. Oh come on! Oh for crying out loud! It's got a Michigan license plate too, but the funny thing is it has the number plate on it. I think it's funny. I like the classic Chevrolet logo. That is a decal. That is amazing. I never noticed that in my life. If we look on the underside of the pickup, it does have amazing detail. I'm not lying. It does have amazing detail. The car is, it's almost handmade to be honest. It's factory fresh. Not factory fresh, but the box that it came with it was a little beat up. I was worried I was damaged. But it's not bad at all in good condition. Not bad. I have to admit it's not bad in good condition. The El Camino. This review is coming close to an end, but we might as well look over the interior. I got my pencil. No, 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 I won't need it. So you can see right in there, gauges are crisp. The steering wheel has gotten a few issues. It's wobbling up and down, which I'm going to have to replace the steering mount. It's got a lot of detail. I'm not lying, guys. We got chrome trimming. We have got another good good year tires on the tailpipe, like on the real thing, comes out here. Gotta admit, it's tough in there, in fact. And uh, surprisingly, it has a red it has a red engine block, I believe, like a Chevrolet small block or big block. My option is it's a big block because you can see how big the engine is. I could take off the grill, show you, but I glued it back on. In the engine, we got pretty good detail. It's got a, oh, what's that? It's a 4x4. Four four. It's a 4x4 four four truck. I never noticed that. Oh, hang on. Let me zoom in. Okay, you know, guys, you can see that. 454. I know it's not four-wheel drive in that mic. I believe it's got a Corvette engine and a not Corvette engine, but it's a Corvette symbol. That's pretty neat. 
I, know, I think the original Chevys had that. But I think it's a pretty cool truck. And by the way, this truck kind of looks like it has a face, to be honest with you guys. It has a face almost. That is surprising. I'll buy that back there. It has that. It has the branding of the tires, the size. I'm amazed. This truck has pretty good detail. It weighs, I think, five or six pounds. I don't know if it does weigh a pound. I have no idea. I'm going to have to get a scaler and do that. Chrome trimming everywhere. Interior is good, good, good. I give this a five-star rating. I don't care what you guys think of it. I give it a five-star rating. If you guys want me to review the Jaguar E-Type, give this video about up to two views, and I'll review the Jaguar E-Type. But anyways, guys, if you want me to review the Cadillac Devel over there on 124th, I will do that. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it. The Jaguar E-Type and the El Camino are about the exact same size. Not the exact same size, but same distance. If I line them up carefully here... Yeah, you can see the difference. The Jaguar E-Type is a sports car, and the El Camino is like a little, uh, like a muscle truck. The El Camino is your typical muscle truck from, I think, the early, I think the late 50s to the late 70s, I believe. But again, you can see the drive belt. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry about for the camera angle. You can see that it has a belt in there, and if I could tip. It has a radiator fan, which I'm got them in mostly cars like these. Don't don't have them these days. I had a couple of old vintage cars. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm not that good with my iPad. But anyways, guys, I have no idea what we're doing today. But um, I will get the Jaguar review out sometime tomorrow or today, one or two, because well, I don't know. It's pretty interesting to see my El Camino in this good condition. I could repaint the stripes because it is the stripes are coming off. This car's made tonight, I believe, in the early two. I believe it's made in the early two. I have no idea when it was made, but if you want me to review the Jaguar E Type, I will get to that review eventually tomorrow or today. I don't know, but we'll see. And of course, everything opens. You guys don't believe me? There's the hood, there's the two doors, and there's the tailgate. So that is it guys for the El Camino. Um, this car will be put on my car display for a very long time. It's amazing. This car is not going to be used for its parts. I could mostly buy another El Camino just for the hood because its stripes are pretty dead. Um, you can see that yeah, the stripes are pretty much gone. I might buy an El Camino hood. So you got a lot of nice detail. So guys, you want me to review which car you want me to review? The Cadillac Devel or the Jaguar E Type? We'll let you know thoughts in the comment section below. Give this video a like and or subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Check out my newest game in GTA 5 video. I got a new Titanic video. Searching for the Titanic episode 1. I will try and continue on with the series. But anyways guys. So yeah, check out my channel GTA 5 Titanic. And I might change the name of the YouTube channel. And make another one. So yeah. That's pretty much it guys. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.